Hello, I'm Jenna or Jenna Cat, and you are Knaf. If you haven't seen the Barbie movie yet, then you won't get that reference, but just know it is definitely a compliment. You're Knaf. Anyways, today is our weekly Dream Snaps reveal video. It was for the Dreamy Kitchen. I'm very excited to see how I did. Also very nervous because this was also another really competitive week. There was just an astounding amount of beautiful kitchen builds, like insanely gorgeous. So I was really happy with how mine turned out, but I don't know how it's going to compete with the talent of everyone else in the community. So I'm nervous. I'm very nervous, but we're going to get into it. We're going to check out the premium shop refresh. I've been trying to avoid spoilers all morning. I'm now on my lunch break, so it was really hard going on YouTube just seeing premium shop refresh videos. So I don't think I had anything spoiled for me yet. I'm excited. I hope we get some new stuff and some stuff I want to spend my moonstones on. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into this video. Oh, and got these so I can see. If you are wondering why I just like don't wear them all the time, I didn't need glasses until about three years ago. I didn't know I needed glasses until two or three years ago. So I have gotten really used to not wearing glasses. Like literally the first 26 years of my life, I never wore glasses. So I don't, I like how they look on me. I think they're super cute and I have, you know, different fun ones, but they're also annoying. I hate when they get any sort of smudge. Like this one's smudged right now and it's really annoying. Uh, I hate eating with them because sometimes like, or like drinking, like the cup will hit them or whatever. And so I don't wear them all the time. I only wear them when like I need to be able to see far away or like read something that's kind of far away. So that's why I'm not ever like wearing them at the start of my videos because I don't like wearing, I don't like the feeling of wearing glasses if that makes sense. Okay, now we'll get into the Dream Snaps reveal. Okay, drum roll. Nervous. I got 4,000 Moonstones. Oh, good. Okay, I'm so excited. Like, that's just really the goal each week is to get 4,000 Moonstones. I know the other Moonstone tiers are good too, but the 4,000 is definitely my goal. Actually, my true goal is to make it into the top 100. I know that is a lofty ass goal, but I think I'll get there one day. One day. I scored 75.39 and ranked 1,613. I can claim 4,000 Moonstones. I will receive 176 pixel dust. I'm excited about that. That is great. Let's go ahead and see what's in my chest as well. I think I also may have leveled up. Yes, I did level up. Okay, uh, level six, I get a splat motif. I mean, I guess that's probably if you are into touch of magic, I bet that could come in handy for a lot of things. Let's see what's in my chest. I now have 8,000 moonstones. That's exciting. In my chest, we have, is that a lamp? I don't think I have that lamp. Ooh, I don't think I have that. That's really pretty. I like that a lot. And I'm pretty sure I have that one. So yeah, the lamp. Oh, it's a cloudy lamp and an ornate couch. Let's check those out. Oh, it's like um, the Toy Story clouds. That's, oh, that's so cute. Let's move it somewhere where we can actually see it. That's so adorable. Oh my God, I love that. I'm very happy with that. And this ornate couch. Oh, I freaking love that too. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but I love both those. So that was a win for the treasure chest. Now I'm gonna go ahead and reveal what I submitted for my dreamy kitchen. And I am wearing some of the new items we got this last week and I have my zero fox companion. Uh, yeah, my character is just ballin' in all this new item and clothing stuff. All right, here it is. Here's my final submission for the Dreamy Kitchen. I will say I was so frustrated with my camera angles in this submission. I really wanted to get some really creative angles, but I just couldn't accomplish them with the way that Dreamlight Valley has their camera system set up. I have a whole video about all of the things that I think could make Dream Snaps that much better. If you want to check that out, it'll be linked at the end of this video. This is the angle I ended up going with because it was the angle that was A, creative, B, showed the most of my kitchen, and C, was what was my C point? Um, I don't have a C point. <laughs> a most creative that I could manage to get with the limitations that we have 
and show the most of my kitchen. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna show you the whole kitchen because I went all out on this and I literally have a whole room built for this dream snap. I'll go ahead and show you the whole room if I can remember which house I put this room in. I think it was in my palace. We'll go check out my palace. Oh, we have a new quest. What? The Forgotten's been spending an awful lot of time in the dark castle. Oh, okay, y'all. I know it's been a week. I still have not unlocked the Beauty and the Beast realm. I have been hammering through the Haunted Holiday Star Path. Yeah, I've been just like hammering through the Star Path. I. I really want to get the Star Path complete before I unlock the Beauty and the Beast realm, just because I can't concentrate on anything else when I have Star Path duties to unlock. All right, here's the whole kitchen that I designed. For okay, that mannequin actually scared me for a second because I thought it moved and I was like, what is happening? Here's my dreamy kitchen. It looks nicer when it's dark out because then not as much light is coming through the window. But yeah, so I made it like very cottage core and autumn, like because you got the pumpkins and witchy, witchy cottage core autumn feeling. And you know, there's like literally plants growing through here. You've got a tree trunk fireplace growing, some branches on the ceiling. So this is where the chef prepares the food. As you can see, she's hard at work making something. Over here is like, we've got tea and like some ingredients like eggs and apples and bananas. I love the Rapunzel swing chair. I love that so much. Someone's having a tea and cake party, it looks like over there. Let's see if I can squeeze through here. I cannot squeeze through here, but I love that window. That window is so beautiful and it lets in some really gorgeous light depending on the time of day. Like when I took my dream snap photo, it was at night. So the light was very like blue. You know, behind the chef, you've got, there's a fridge hiding behind this tree trunk. You've got shelves with all the things she needs, a sink and a stove top. That was my little submission for the dreamy kitchen. Now let's see what is in our shop. Oh my God, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, I hope I have enough new moonstones for all of this. I'm not gonna get the purple cottage. I don't need it. I have plenty of other house options that I love. Oh, there's even more to this. Okay, so. Oh, it won't show me a close up of the fountain of youth, but that looks incredible. We've got a um, pirate, like a map table. Oh, I need this one so bad. And then a metal grate. So if you want to make like a, a pirate ship build. Oh, that's sick. Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to get that one. I might get the Skeleto Mobile from uh, Night Before Christmas. That is really cool. Oh, that pedestal is awesome. Like these will both go great in my spooky Forgotten Lands build that I'm working on. This is a Nightmare Before Christmas item, but at Disneyland, when they changed the Haunted Mansion over to Nightmare Before Christmas, they actually literally do have this scary surprise box like in the ride that they like, put, they, you know, they decorate it all Nightmare Before Christmas theme and they have like a room with like a bunch of presents and stuff and some of the presents are like popping out and one of them is this cat. It is this cat and I've always loved that cat. It's always been my favorite part of the ride and I always try to get a picture of it, but it's so hard because it's dark and it like is popping up randomly. I might have to get this. I may have to get all three of these. These are all great. Let's see what our new Dream Snap challenge is. We have got Critter Love. Shut up. I've got, I've got a perfect place for this already. I have literally a petting zoo in my valley. This is going to be perfect. This is, I, I am so excited. Show a little love for the valley's alley. Ellie, the valley's animal companions with designs and styles inspired by your favorite critter. I'm gonna find a way to incorporate my petting zoo. It's a really big build, so it'll be interesting to see how I can incorporate it, but I'm gonna try to incorporate my petting zoo. I'm so excited. Let's do a quick round of voting for the Dapper Delights. I'm very curious on this one. Oh my God, I love them. Oh, this is uh, uh I haven't unlocked the Belle and Beast realm yet, but I've seen that outfit and I love it. It's like the candlestick, but I re- This is gorgeous. This is so beautiful. Oh my God. Oh, I've got to save that. That's so beautiful. Whoever did this, wow, well done. Well done. That is gorgeous. So we're going to go vote for that one. Okay. Um, I think 
as far as outfits go, oh, I like the both outfits, but I really like the hair in this one. So we're gonna go with that one. Ooh, that one's giving me, giving me Cinderella vibes. This one, ooh, well, how are they, did they get those lights? What are those lights? I'm so confused, what are those lights? Are they... Memory orbs? I'm not sure. That's really cool. And then we've got this one. This one's a lot cleaner. But I'm just so intrigued by those lights. Mmm, but... Uh, I think because this one's cleaner, I'm gonna go with this one. Um, we will vote... As far as outfits go, I think I like this outfit better. Kristoff is playing the loot for her, so that's cute. Ooh, hey, this looks like my Christmas village. That's wild. That's like very similar to my Christmas village. Uh, but that doesn't really scream Dapper Delights to me. This one for sure does, and I love... Oh, and you got the Dapper Wally, cute. And the decorations are really nice. I know it's an alpha challenge, but I'm gonna go with that one. And this will be the last one I vote on, unless the next one is like incredible. I need to vote on it. Yeah, we're gonna go with this one. This one is very beautiful and screams Dapper Delights. Uh... I like the- I love both of these, but neither of these feel like Dapper Delights. So that's so... Ah, uh, I'm not- I know I said the last one's gonna be the last one I vote on, so I'm not gonna vote on either of these. I just want to point out that I really love both of these. The outfits are really cool. I guess this one looks more dapper than this one. This one just looks badass, and I love it, but... Okay, I'm not gonna vote on either of them. I need to finish my lunch break and go back to work. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you wanna see how I think Dream Snaps could be better, that video will be popping up down below any minute. I hope y'all are really enjoying this newest update with all of these new incredible items and so many new spooky items. I know it's not October yet, but we're close. We're getting there. And this game is really making me excited for fall. I hope to see you in the next video and keep on dreaming, dreamers. Wow.